this is the first one on the West Coast. We started putting it together several years ago, actually. Our USDA liaison was working with Dean Witte, wanting to bring a camp. The mission of the camp was to introduce students to careers within food, agriculture, and natural resources. And so we took the opportunity of having it at Fresno State. So we spent a lot of time with these 16 students on campus, everything from introducing them to the campus and all the majors and everything offered to spending time with hands-on activities within plant and animal sciences in addition to agribusiness and food sciences. So students were spending a lot of time in the classroom, but they were also spending a lot of time in the labs, whether that's an enclosed lab or in the greenhouses or in the beef unit or in the dairy unit. They were actually doing the work and the experiments and not just learning about them from our faculty. Our faculty facilitated. We had 16 students, 11 from California, two from Georgia, and then a student from Illinois, Puerto Rico, and Utah. These 16 students came out of an application pool of 60 students. We had everybody from a young lady who grew up on the south side of Chicago to a peanut farmer's daughter in South Georgia. And so you brought in a lot of different perspectives. The hands-on experience is definitely what makes this camp the best. For example, we went to the beef unit and we were able to go vaccinate some bulls and some cows that went in. And so we got to do it ourselves. We didn't just see someone do it. It's let me go into the field and see the corn that's been ready to harvest. It's let me taste how great it is when you go to a farmer's market and you taste how fresh the food is and how natural and all the hard work it's done. And it's taught me, you know, agriculture isn't just sitting down to have dinner it's really the, all the steps in between that makes it all worthwhile they got to do a lot of different things they got to actually participate in the milking process the feeding process when they were out at the greenhouses they got to harvest we also were able to walk through all the different fields whether they were the almond orchards or the groves to all the different vegetable fields they were also able to work with Dr. Wenger on collecting specimens for entomology, and they took them to the labs and were able to look at different things under the microscope. Then they were also able to go into the creamery and help process ice cream for the morning, and the ice cream that in a few minutes was going to head over to the Gibson Farm Market. And they also got to spend time in the food processing lab shucking corn. And it was corn that they had seen a couple days ago in the field. So they got to see the whole process. There's something great about that, especially when they go home and start telling that story of, I understand and where my food comes from, to get from the ground to my plate. 2018's camp will be June 10th through the 23rd. And so we're already starting to put those resources together. And we have the team that can work on it together too.